Hey, have you heard about those furries in the classroom recently? If not, we're going to be talking about it in today's video. Let's go! Hey there, I'm Kamei the Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. So I recently came across an article where a professor at a college was teaching a class that somehow involved furries. Now, before you break out those pitchforks and torches, everyone in this class is an adult by college standards. And the majority of them knew what they were getting themselves into, at least to a degree, when they signed up for the class. The class in question is called Beast Literature, an extension of the Classic Literature course, hosted by Boston College. In this class, the students will be going over the historical means of having the animals talking in stories, from the ancient world to classical to modern. Think like Zootopia, for example, on the modern, and more Aztec fables or tours in the hair for classical. The course will break down how we as humans would use animals to convey different aspects or lessons to the audience of the story. Now, you might be saying, how does that involve fairies at all? I mean, it's not like we have our own animal-based character or where we develop a story based around them, like a backstory if you would. Oh no, 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 that's impossible, right? <laughs> oh, but it is. Trust me, it is. Through the course of the class, as he has the students make an animal-based character for themselves, a persona if you would, and have them think about how their character would interact in day-to-day -day life, like in the real world, or in a fictitious world. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. After that, he did end up buying the students a couple of cakes with lettering on it, saying, Sorry I made you all furries. Well, to be fair, a fair bit of them might have been furries beforehand. Or at least furry adjacent. What I mean by that is, they're not actually part of the fandom, but they enjoy the core aspects of what we do. Or the scenes we actually enjoy as well. He even brought in a few fursuiters to help bring it home to some students. After this came out to the public, there was a bit of outcry where the professor in question, Professor Polt, wrote, I encourage any member of staff to sit in on any of my classes to see if there's anything inappropriate going on, especially on his quote unquote very days. Personally, I'd love to check this course out and get a bird's eye view on what's actually happening in there. What about you? Would you like to attend this class? Let me know in the comments. You can find a link to a Fox News article where I read about this in the description below so you can read it for yourself. Or if you just want to stay on YouTube, you can check out my furry film review I did on the movie Cats Don't Down, linked in the cards above and comments below. Or you can check out the video on screen right now, because that's what YouTube thinks you enjoy the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I shall see you all next time. Johnny!